What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica. We are down here. Honey, we are down here and we are going to Starbucks. We are down here to talk about the Real Housewives of New Jersey. I have not watched the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I will watch that today and we'll have that for you tomorrow. Um, I'm really glad that New Jersey is ending. We got one more part for New Jersey. That's ending. So we don't have to be worried about that. And then we can move. Um, we can move the um the days that we do it because normally on fridays don't we do like a nothing to talk about or something i don't know go ahead and like subscribe and comment let the diva know you stopped by we finally hit twenty thousand subscribers everyone thank you so much for all of your support shout out to all the new subscribers buckle your seatbelt, girl um thank you thank you for all the support thank you for all the um love yesterday that y'all was giving me all over the all over the platforms it's very exciting because I was gone for a minute and I came back and just, I told myself that, um, I'm going to come back and just make sure that I want to do this again as fun to keep it fun for me. I love running my mouth, giving my opinion. You know, I love it. Um, and so I remember I was actually, and you all in the middle of the road, damn, Ugh. not know how to drive. Hello, Crow. Um, yeah, so I came back, I was gone for like how many years? I think like two, two, I felt like it was two years or something, two or three years. I felt like. And I came back and I was like, okay, I'm just going to make videos from my car. Girl, let's pretend. Is that the line? Oh, my God. No, we're not. I'm not about to do that. That line is literally wrapped around. No, thank you. Let me, let's go to the park. <laughs> I'll go after. I'll go after. That line was too long. I won't be able to talk about the episode. Will I? I don't know. Do I want to go back in the line? Uh, I want to be able to talk about the episode, I guess. No, let me go. I don't want to go. I've already changed my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was not going to do it. That line was like a wrapped around, like, you know, when I turn and go, well, you don't know, but when I turn and go up, it was already, the cars were already back to the, that part, like, what? And they were packed. I don't, I'm a little late. I think I have to go. I know what time I have to get there. So that the um, little morning rush, I'm before their little morning rush. So we'll chill out. So overall, the episode was good. The reunion part two. Yeah. So thank you. Shout out to everybody. I didn't finish that thought. Shout out to everybody. I had fun. Um, but thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 20,000. It's the, you know, like I said, the growth has been very organic, which I love because I feel like that kind of helps filter the community. Like, it's like, okay, so these are just like some people, like some people are like, Oh, I've been watching you since basketball wise, but since OG was on there. And then, um, some folks was like, I've been watching you since. Somebody said something that was real old. Nobody said they've been watching me since the turkey jumped on top of the hood of my car. <laughs> Y'all remember that? <laughs> I was like, no. First, the turkey was chasing me, in which I figured that the, they, it was chasing its reflection in my car. That's what the security guard. But the security guard said, if you run from a wild turkey, they'll chase you. But one jumped on the hood of my car as I was parking. Y'all missed it. That was a mess. That was so funny. I was like, what? Yeah, but because we're in the building that I used to work in, um, there's wild turkeys in that area. Well, there's wild turkeys all over 
um, the Sacramento area. But in this one area where I worked specifically, they were like packs of flocks. Are they flocks when they just be walking around or are they flocks when they're flying? So last night, these eyelashes, right? So <laughs> I fell asleep with the eyelashes. Uh, sometimes I do. It depends on how long they are. And these are kind of long. So one of the eyelashes on this one, it got like a little crush, but you can't really tell. Oh, because it was so, it's so many lashes or, you know, little strands that you can't really tell, but it's not as thick as the other one. Girl, that shit is folded in like this. And I was trying to fix it. Usually you could fix it. I didn't want to take it off, but usually you could fix your lashes um, when you want to clean them, clean them with alcohol and then like put them back on. Um, yeah, clean them with rubbing alcohol and then put them back on the little tray that they come with so they can get the little curve of the thing. And then, of course, if you want to curl them with your lash curlers and stuff, but I don't do that. I just I wash them with alcohol and then I lay them back out and if I want to, you know, you know, but I buy so many that when I'm done, I'm done. I just throw them away or whatever. Yeah, and they're strips. Y'all was talking about how they, you, yeah, these are strips, girl. They're strips. Okay, anyway, so let's talk about Real Housewives of New Jersey. Bitch boy, you are. Well, you are a bitch boy. This is Teresa. Girl, have y'all noticed when Teresa be talking about nothing, when she don't make no goddamn sense, she be looking off into the sky, like looking into the blank space of her brain. She be like, look. she does it all the time. If you go look at the last review of New Jersey, I posted an old picture of Teresa and she's like looking up like, <laughs> that's what she does. Like what? Like, 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 duh. But no, you're duh. You're, you're duh. Teresa is, I don't, I don't know. That to me is, I don't care how pretty you are. That level of intelligence on display on a consistent basis would drive me crazy. I wouldn't be able to partner with somebody that like disconnected from reality. That shit is crazy. But I guess you need that kind of person because you know, the way that Louis was looking at her when they went to the back, um, cause Joe said he quit. No, Joe, you don't quit. You don't quit. He goes to the back. He's all mad at everything. And he was like, I don't talk to you like that. You need to be more of a sister, but y'all don't talk to each other. Right. You call, you've called her a fucking moron. That's what you call her on the way to the back of the damn room. Y'all don't speak to each other nicely. I get on my sons about that. Like I said, y'all need to speak to each other. Save that for people you don't like or you don't fuck with. Don't speak like that to each other. Speak nicely or kindly to each other. I know you get mad, but be mindful of the way you talk to somebody that you care about. That's how I feel. It's just like, you know, that's when you know when you are done with somebody, when you start being disrespectful and you start talking to them crazy because before you had a little bit of respect for them. So you would kind of mind what you would say. You would you know, talk to them lovingly, right? Let me put, I had my foot on the brake that whole time. Girl's a mess. <laughs> yeah, so you know, after a while, when you lose respect for somebody, you start talking crazy. You know, everybody know, you start talking at the, what they say, the side of your neck. <laughs> and that's how they talk to each other at the sides, at the side of their neck. Okay, I gotta make sure this shit is on. He says, you keep putting him, they tell her, they're telling her, you keep putting him down. I'm not putting him down. You just called him a bitch boy. That's the problem that I have with Teresa is like, she just stays in gas lighting mode. Whatever the reality is, she's going to say it's not. She's just going to say it's not. I, she said, I didn't put him down. What? I was not trying to put you down on mommy and daddy. I swear to God. What? I told you that's a dangerous bitch. Y'all keep tell. I'm telling y'all, y'all got all this, all this stuff for Teresa. That's a dangerous bitch. She's not, I couldn't be around somebody who could just, that's, she's weird. She's weird. Well, he, he doesn't need to be getting involved. Everybody's involved. This, that's the thing that I don't like. You're trying to like, like Andy said, you're trying to demean him by saying that he is in women's business, but this is everybody's business where this is everybody's business. This is a show. Everybody keeps saying it. This is a show. It's a social media award. This is what you get when you come on this show. All of this stuff that they're saying, I don't know. Everybody is involved. I don't know. Like when Joe got on the post and was like, haters gonna hate or whatever he said, what did he say? 
And that's getting into women's business. Should maybe should should he have stayed out of it? But the way that Jennifer had her PowerPoint presentation together, it, it was no you couldn't argue. Melissa was just sitting over there smiling. And let me tell you something. I noticed that Melissa, girl, I don't know. Like I said last night on Twitter, I could see how y'all are saying that Melissa really doesn't have. She really doesn't have anything. Wait, wait. I, I posted it on Twitter last night. Because I felt like, um, I said, I'm starting to notice that nothing Melissa has going on with Teresa or Jennifer is landing. It's like no one really pays attention to her issues with people. Um, I said, I'm, I'm late to the party. Because when she came to the back, right, she goes, oh, let me get up and go see but my husband, right? So she goes to the back and she comes to the back. Like, kind of like, okay, let's just forget. And they're in the middle of talking, right? They're trying to get their situation together. And she comes back there like, all right, let's just forget about it. Let's be family. When you just told her two minutes ago that the family, family, family thing is bullshit. So you're back there now saying, just be quiet. Don't worry about it. Let's just get it over with. And, and then everybody was looking at her like, girl, everybody looked into the camera. Like, what? <laughs> what is she talking about go by go back you act like you did something like you said something to somebody anyway it's not the same it's not the same louis he is a bitch um remember when he said to marge don't intimidate you don't intimidate me andy was in agreement and then did you hear andy say at one point this is beyond exhausting this is beyond exhausting okay i only have yeah i thought i had a lot more notes than this no it's only three pages anyway so he thinks I didn't defend him. But then, and then she turns around and says, well, he is kind of a bitch. And Louis just sitting there looking at her like, and then when, when Joe went to the back at first, he was like, so if Louis defends you, he's a bitch. Well, no, it's different. What do you mean? It's different girl. You calling, you're calling me a bitch for defending my wife or getting into women's business or whatever. Girl, but it's different. While they were in the back, Jackie tells Jennifer, I'm okay. While she's in the back, girl, basically she told her when she's with you, you act different. When she tells you to do stuff to us, don't do it. Like, like I said, like that is so ridiculous that this woman is giving another grown woman instructions on how to behave. Don't be such a flunky to the dummy. Don't be such a flunky that you're doing everything. You're doing her, all her biddings for her explaining things for her even when she said that louis girlfriends yeah so they're bitter i want to be friends with i want to be friends with you um but that has it has to stop in the back teresa tells joe she wouldn't call him a bitch boy if he told margaret and joe to shut the f up since they are the ones that keep bringing stuff out You call me, I don't want to be called a pussy. I don't want to be called a bitch. He, Andy tells Teresa, we want your brother to be here. We want him to be here. We're trying to get things resolved. And then she says, well, he's in the women's business. So he's in the women's business. That makes him a bitch boy. But you want Joe to tell Margaret to shut the fuck up. Does that make sense to anyone? Does it make sense to anyone to call your brother a bitch boy for getting into women's business, but then turn around and be mad at him for not telling Margaret to shut the F up? Even though Margaret hasn't done anything, but bring the shit up. Like you brought the shit up last, a rumor last season. And you made up some shit in your head about Margaret and, and keep, and keep like you literally said I wouldn't call you a bitch boy if you told Margaret to shut the fuck up <laughs> he Joe tells Louie are you hiding anything no well then I told Louie that he needs to talk about are you embarrassed about that camp you went to no okay well then you should have shut it down tell them to shut that's what I said that's what I said he should have shut it down I'm a better person you should be happy that I went to that weird ass camp because I'm a better person for your weird ass friend 
That's what he should have told him and shut everything down. But Teresa's so busy trying to keep up appearances that she's kind of putting a muzzle on him and making it seem more than what it is. If you don't feel embarrassed about going to that camp, shut it down. Now, the, and then Andy said, well, girl, let me tell you something. I don't give a damn if Marge said anything. I would have been on this reunion stage asking him who, what, when, where, why, and how about these things coming out. Because all these things came out before the season started. All of them. Well, see, Margaret is supposed to be my friend. And that's why. And that's why. Well, you and Margaret are not friends. And you know you're not friends because you told Danielle to pull her ponytail. Remember that? Did we forget about that? I don't want to be friends with somebody that's like a dictator. And then it's like a dumb dictator. That's the thing. It's like you want to be told what to do and controlled by someone who looks off into a blank space to get her logic and reasoning. <laughs> oh, God, I don't understand it. Andy said, I will be asking the questions. Well, Marge is my friend. Yeah, I wrote Melissa, huh? Melissa comes back. Let's just be a family. Girl, shut the fuck up. Go sit back down. Did nobody ask you to come back here? Teresa and Joe, I never put you down. You did two times. She says, no, I didn't. That's gaslighting, y'all. That is literally, Teresa, stay on gaslighting mode. She does. That is gaslighting. I didn't put you down. What are you talking about? Yes, you did. That's when you flip out on the person. Because you like, you just put me down. You called me a bitch twice. No, I didn't. I swear on my mom and dad. I swear to God. He thinks I wasn't defending him. That will make a person go crazy, y'all. It will. They give each other hugs. All right, everybody, let's just be calm. Let's just be calm. She starts talking about it again as they're walking out of the back room. And Louie goes, let's just stop. Just stop. Did you see how Louis was looking at her when she was calling her brother a bitch and then like saying that she didn't call him a bitch and then saying and then swore on her mom and dad and God that she didn't call her brother a, that she was not calling her brother a bitch. I was not trying. I swear to God, a mommy and daddy. I wrote it down. Dolores is outside. She's on the phone with Paulie from Dublin. Um, Andy gets on the phone with him for a little while. Andy, at first, the way that Andy, his voice was like, hey, guy. I was like, whose child is he talking to? <laughs> but um, that was the end of that. And then they talked about Dolores a little bit. Frank and David live together, child. Her mom is good. Um, Frank is in between things. Andy wanted to know, does Frank have income? Because why is he moving around town? Bitch. Last night when Rodney said that he's moving from pillar to post. When I tell you my grandmother used to say that too. When he said his grandmother said that I fell out. Because why is he moving around town? Why is he living here? Why is he living there? Pillar to post. <laughs> pillar to post. <laughs> my grandmother used to say the same thing. My grandmother. So um, when Dolores was talking about the dude, right? They asked the people, have he, have they met him? And then asked Teresa, did she like him or did she like David? How, who did she like better, David or this guy? Well, I really don't, I really don't know David like that because we really never hung out. Margaret jumps in and she says, well, I, I know that I know David. He's, he's a little different, a little more outgoing. Da, da, da. I've been over to their house with D David and Frank. She's letting it know Teresa's over there doing her hair like that. Yeah, Dolores and Margaret are much closer than Teresa. The only thing that Dolores is giving Teresa is loyalty because of time. But I don't think that Dolores fucking is really with that the way that Teresa acts. She just be looking at her. Did y'all notice how Dolores kept looking at her? And then when um, someone called her a dictator, she did her eyes like, I don't, she didn't shake her, she didn't shake her head, but she did her head up like that and look, I was like, she about to shake her head? Yes. I was like, okay, that's what you got to watch folks. Cause it'd be the nonverbals. It really do. And that's why I noticed the way that Louie was looking at Teresa and it was a long look. He was just looking at her like, like disappointed, like, like disappointed. I don't know. That's what it looked like to me. That was the look of disappointment. I don't know what he was thinking. You know what I'm saying? But he was just looking at her like. And then when she kept trying to talk about it, he was like, let's just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Because she's going to try to rationalize with you some lie. That's what's crazy about it. It's like, 
girl, that's not that's not even what happened. And you you really get mad looking off into the sky and shit like that. Crazy. Um, she's lovely. Dolores met um her boyfriend's her boyfriend's ex wife. They kind of have a similar relationship than with her and Frank. They're they're close or whatever. Um, David is dating Louis' ex. This is a woman that he was dating for two months before he met Teresa, and he ghosted this woman. And Andy was like, you don't think that that's wild? Teresa was like, well, you know, I don't know. She got, honey, she thinks she got a, she thinks she's the prize and that Louis got a prize. Louis got the prize. I mean, that's the reason why they are all mad because he is with Teresa Judice. And you should see when she got up, <laughs> when she got up, she was like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Teresa Judice. And Margaret was like, wow. <laughs> Everybody was looking like, this is crazy. And Jennifer, you playing along with that Alice in Wonderland shit is crazy too. That's why I was like, I, I don't, like, I, uh, I don't know. I can't, I just don't know. When you position yourself right next to Teresa and then you're like, kind of like her, to me, I feel like you're like her flunky. I feel, I like, I, I just can't respect that position. Change your position. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you don't need my respect, but I don't respect people who move like that. That's that's weird. Like, what what part of your personality, Jennifer? Jennifer, I don't know if Jennifer thinks that maybe Teresa. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. You are so pompous. Oh, that's when the when the kids or maybe the kids are resilient. That sounded insensitive. Now, do you notice when Margaret is being? Um, you know, held accountable for something. She tries to cut you off. Somebody else does that. She tries to cut you off in order for you to, in order to agree with, like she's already agreeing with what you're going to say about her misbehavior already. Like she knows already. Yeah, that was insensitive, right? Yeah, that was insensitive. Yeah, it didn't land. It didn't land, right? Let the people hold you accountable. You know that you can come after, but you cutting somebody off. She was doing that. Somebody else does that. It's like you come to them with a problem. And then while you're telling them what the problem is, they're already agreeing. Like they understand what the problem is and they're trying to apologize, I guess, in, in an effort to cut you off. Like they don't want to hear it. I don't know what that's from, but I noticed that that Margaret did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't land. It didn't land. It was insensitive. Yeah, it was insensitive. I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> um. Teresa's partying with Gia. Is Gia dating? Um, was she concerned? Teresa lies and says no. And then Andy says, well, she says she was reading the stuff that she was reading caused her to be concerned. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Margaret put it out. What? <sighs> it was on blast before, before, but she said, but nobody knew. And she's like, that's not true. Then women were already coming out. Everybody was coming out, but why were they coming out? Jennifer said, because they were bitter. Jennifer chimes in, girl. Because he's with Teresa Judice. Andy said, it's more exhausting than normal. And that's when Margaret said, wow. Um, they asked Melissa, has she ever been with a woman? Because they asked her something about her getting frisky when she gets drunk. We already know that about her. Um, Jackie talked about she's doing better. She's gained a little weight. How Evan is supportive of her how she's getting ready to go on a vacation for, I think, four, six days, she said, because usually at the third day is where she kind of starts getting anxious about her meals. She says she's not planning her meals anymore. She's not eating the same thing over and over again, which is really good. Um, they asked the women, had they noticed? And um, Melissa said, yeah, I noticed she would say that she ate before she came. Um, why didn't you want to include Evan? And she said, because it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that, you know, when she said that she would allow herself to eat in front of people twice a week, it's like, it's, that's why it's considered a mental illness because you see the stuff that goes into it. It's more than just wanting to be skinny. It's like programming your brain. And she, she's, she was killing herself. She was killing herself. She said she was starving. She said because as she got older, her metabolism slowed down. So she probably was putting on a little bit of weight. Her body's trying to survive, right? Um, but so she would go days and just starve. And it's just was sad. Margaret chimes in and she says, I know that it was hard. I'm really proud of her. She was just saying encouraging words, you know, being a nice friend or whatever. How did you feel when Teresa fat shamed Margaret? 
And when they said, Mar, Mar, were well, you fat shamed too? So they said something Jackie said about getting lipo every week. That's fat shaming. And then Margaret saying that Jennifer was a lightweight. And then she tried to flip it and say that it was because she was a light drinker. Girl, you was trying to say she was heavy. That's what you was trying to say. She's not no lightweight and started laughing. So everybody does. Everybody talks about it. That's how, unfortunately, that's how women fight. Your, your, your appearance, your social status, and if you're a good mom, like mothering, they'll, they'll, they'll do the mom shame thing. So weird. Um, it was fat shaming. Um, they talked about Teresa saying that Margaret never misses a meal. I'm okay. Well, I'm sorry about that. Girl, that was sincere. Whatever. Well, I'm just saying that's how I built my, my leggings. Is that so your ass will look amazing? Whatever. Um, you ruin your night. What was that about? She called Margaret a digger. She was like, I wasn't digging the internet. It was already on the internet. It was, oh no, you ruined your night. You did. No, you did. No, you did. Margaret's lips. I don't know what is going on right here. And then she like, can't open them. It's almost as, and she can't scream because her lips look like they're stapled right here. Girl, what's going on, Margaret? You know, you're my girl, but what is happening right here? I don't know what needs to happen. Is it because she's like this? I don't know. I don't know. You think you know everything. You think you know everything. Just shut the fuck up, Margaret. You see how easy it is for her to tell somebody to shut the fuck up? Y'all need to talk to Teresa the same way she talked to y'all. But Margaret was, she was going off on Jen when she told Jennifer, um, you say sick shit on the after show. She was pissed because she said that Margaret, <laughs> she said that Margaret said, you got to wipe, you got to wash your stench off me. She was like, I did not use the word stench. <laughs> well, bitch, she was being shady. Um, <sighs> why are you mad more at um, Margaret than your actual husband who did the, you know, the, the deed? Um, everybody was so glad that you owned it and this and that. She was like, well, I mean, you know, if you're going to say something wrong, you need to come correct or whatever. She, she was thrown off. Margaret threw her the fuck off. What did Bill say? Um, was he mad? He didn't, he did, he didn't talk. There was no communication about it as usual. That's what she said. He's highly, well, I can tell you how he feels. I guess you're going to be his mouthpiece. He's highly embarrassed and there's nothing that you can say. He's just guilty as charged. Um. It was your choice to hide it. I got mad at him and forgave him. I got mad at Margaret and forgave her. Nobody knew about it. And then Margaret explains how everybody knew about it is because when she was coming on the show, they were saying there's a girl who's coming on the show whose husband cheated on her at the, with the office manager or the accountant or whatever with the woman in the office. Well, nobody knew about it. You had an affair in an office. Everybody knew about it. Everybody knew about it. Everybody knew about it. Um, why would you go on a reality TV show? This is like the million dollar question. Phaedra, Apollo, all these people, uh, Jen Shaw. You know why? The narcissism, period. That's what it is. I'm not saying these people have narcissistic personality disorder. I'm not saying that. But it's the narcissism in people who... You know, you, like Joe and Teresa, you're committing real estate fraud and you go on a show where y'all building construction and shit. Why do y'all go on a show and you know you got shit to hide? Because it's the, nar that is the, the ego is fueling the narcissism. Jen says she wanted to go on the show because it was for her. So I ain't mad at her. That was for me. Um, he said, if somebody comes up with it, we'll just deny it. That's what everybody does. Um, she said, I appeased him. So I agreed to that. It's made me stronger. Something be because of the kids, the boys had no reaction. Gabby was upset at first, but like kids, if mommy is okay, she's not going to leave. She's not going to do anything drastic. Melissa, what would you have done? I would have probably done the same thing. That's what Melissa said. I like, I mean, I appreciate the honesty. Like I, I would have done the same thing. I'm not leaving my family. Like some people are just like that. They're not going to do it. Teresa and Jackie said they would, they couldn't do it. 
Jackie says, I couldn't do it because I'd be, I couldn't look you in the face. I can't trust you. I wouldn't be able to trust you. I would be worried about what you're doing all the time. Um, I can't live my life like that. So she said, um, so then they talked about Melissa and Jen and they shut that down because Jen had the PowerPoint presentation. Andy said it was like a Ted talk. She basically said, and this is what Candace, Candace Dillard Bassett needs to do with these hoes is get your PowerPoint presentation out, get your damn laser pointer and tell these bitches, this is where we are going to start from the beginning. Okay. So I wouldn't have called you a crook if you wouldn't have made this post. Anything else? It's a social media war. <laughs> you got it. Okay. You got the rules down. You started it. And I apparently finished it because after what I said, now all of a sudden you upset <laughs> and your husband is upset. So you clearly don't know the rules. Do you? Okay. Girl, it was over with. Slideshow, social media war. I was attacked. I was attacked. She had all the damn but the bandages on her face. Girl, and that was funny what Melissa was like. Girl, you want us to feel sorry for you for going to get elective surgery? Jennifer said, yes, I do, and I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> Did y'all catch it? I said that bitch that yes, I do want some damn sympathy. I want you to feel bad for me for going to get elective surgery and not attack me. I was attacked. <laughs> Um, Melissa and Jennifer, what else about she didn't care you did that? Oh, when Melissa said, when Melissa said, when you said that Teresa and my relationship was fake, and I'm a little annoyed that Teresa didn't care that you said that, girl, why you don't like Teresa? Teresa doesn't like you. Why are you playing this game? Like when you went in the back and said, let's be a family. When you came out here, why would Teresa be mad at, because Teresa gets mad at everybody when they say something about her to you, she wants you to get mad. So you are expecting her to do the same to you. I, you've known her for this long. You know that it's a double standard. I was just annoyed that she didn't care that you did that. And everybody was like, they looked into the camera again and was like, okay. All right, we done with Melissa's part. Okay, great. Um, all right. Why do you blame the women for everything? You're a hypocrite. Um, you said after show, I put after show, show stench. <laughs> um, why would you call Margaret a whore, a slut, and have all these things? And to Melissa's point, when you know specifically that you have an issue with Margaret that directly pertains to the shit you have a secret about, in your life, you have a skeleton in your closet with the same clothes on as Margaret's skeleton, except for Margaret is talking about it because you're not going to shame her with her truth, where with you, you are ashamed of your truth. And that's why you're reacting this way. And then you say it's because of the kids. It's because of the kids. It's because of the kids. Is it because of the kids? Because we'll get to that. Right. It's because of the kids. Why would you brag about what well, you said that when um when your husband, when Joe left you, he had to take a shower so he can wipe your smell off you. And everybody started laughing. And she's like, well, I mean, his kids watch the show. You see, they use kids as a scapegoat, his grown ass children. OK, the motherfuckers is like, oh, like almost 30, probably over 30. Well, his kids watch the show. Your kids, then kids, Jennifer. You literally fell, your face fell into some concrete. Bow! Drunk as fuck. What is Gabby and the rest of the crew going to think about that? The kids. Right? Oh my God, the kids. What excuse will you make up for, for them seeing their mom sloppy ass drunk to the point where somebody had to carry her to the car and, and then she threw up in your father's car? Girl, what are the kids going to say about that? Shut the hell up. They called her brother's wife a mail order bride. While Margaret was pulling the woman card, you were pulling the cultural card. That's what Jennifer was doing. Because everybody wants to know why is it so she was trying to come for the culture, right? That's what that's what you're saying is because a mail order bride. Well, he didn't like that. But you called her her mother a slut, a whore, a slut pig. No, that was Kim Richards talking to Brandy. 
You are a slut pig. Come on. You know she's a Virgo. <laughs> Shout out to Kim Richards. It's not even about Kim Richards and them. But I got to watch Beverly Hills when I get back. So I got to watch that. Oh, let me hurry up. Okay. Why you are a hypocrite. She is a hypocrite with that. You wrote to the woman's company, pharmaceutical company, to try to get that lady fired after she slept with your husband. Jennifer said, I do it again. <laughs> I do it again. And then Mark was like, you would want a woman. What if she has kids? What if this? What if this? Uh, Jennifer, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about that lady cheating with my husband. I don't like that lady. You're going to try to get her fired. Margaret was mad. Margaret, you don't have, like I said, Margaret and Jennifer are like two, two demons. We sitting in hell watching two demons play tennis. Choose your winner. Cho who, who's going to win? They come for each other. You, I think you know who wins when the person feels like oh they automatically get offended about something you didn't say the worst shit to everyone each other and all of a sudden you're offended by crook you're offended by just anything i won once you get offended i won i'm gonna look at it like that from now on because we go we're battling once you clutch your pearls i'll figure i won i got you i got you right where i want you but next season candace or this coming up season candace you know they pull that shit on you all the time where they start fucking with you about some shit that, from the middle, start to ask Jennifer where she got her shit printed up on them little particle boards or whatever the fuck she had. It was nice and neat. She was like, Andy, I talk fast. I talk fast. I'm not going to be long. I talk fast. He was like, I just need a few minutes. He was like, a few minutes? Andy was done. He was sitting at, at one point, sitting on the chair like this, holding his heart. <laughs> I said, y'all going to get Andy a stroke. And then he had to stand up at one point and was like, you guys are all talking at the same time. I wonder what it is like on that reunion stage and all them talking at the same time and how they have to cut it. And then they got to turn. I know they got to turn people's mics down so that other people, you know, so the other people's voices can be amplified because they're all talking at the same time. And how do you get how do you get it? How do you get it? Anyways, y'all. Um think they should keep the cast i don't think they should get rid of nobody on here melissa her she's useless melissa should be a friend because melissa who are you really friends with you're friends with jackie and and marge and you cool with dolores you and jennifer and Teresa don't get along i would i would make jenna i would make melissa a friend and then where was tracy do she come out later did she come out tracy hasn't come out was tracy a friend right so they were testing her out well, then if, if Tracy comes on, you'd have to keep Melissa because her and Melissa are friends. Oh, they said Jackie was demoted. I think that's what I heard. Jackie was demoted to a friend. I think the friend is the best job anyway. Luann did that. Remember when Luann went through her divorce and she was demoted to a friend or she stepped down to a friend because you don't have to share your personal story just go on the group trips, be in the group settings, go on the trips. That's the job. That's the one. You don't want anybody in your business like that. Come on as a friend, travel, eat, talk shit. And nobody in your business. Just a little bit. You may see me coming, getting in my car or something. Girl, that's the, that's the better job. You don't have to worry about people being in your business. Anyways, take care of each other, y'all. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Y'all let me know what you think of the episode. Let me go back and watch um, Beverly Hills. All right, y'all. Peace.